Hey everybody, this is the last monthly favorites for 2016, anyway. One of my favorites is causing a little trouble just off camera. So some of my monthly favorites include, first and foremost, Mr. Rowdy Rebel, known to all of us as Rowdy, and he is definitely fitting up to his name. He has grown a lot and in the few weeks that we've had him, and most of you have been able to see that, which comes to my second favorite of the month, which were vlog days so I hope that you enjoyed those. They were a lot of fun for me. Yes, there is some work involved, and yes, it is somewhat intrusive into my everyday family life. Not so much for me, but my other family members don't always love me hauling out the camera at, at odd moments in the day and night, but I really and truly enjoy it so much because it gives me that instant feedback and communication with you, and it's just, it's the most rewarding thing I do all year. I'm gonna start with a couple of fails. Makeup Forever very generously sends me products to, well, just, they just send them. They, don't, they, they come with no strings attached, no promise of a review, no promise of a video, no promise of anything positive to say. And lately I've just been really disappointed with their products. Although there is one coming up that I really, really love. And this is no exception. This is the new Artist Acrolip. They come in these little squeezy tube applicators with the um, sponge tip on the tip there. I haven't actually tried this shade, as you can see. It's still brand new. But I've tried enough of them to know that I don't care for them. One, the color selection is atrocious for my skin tone and for my color preferences. I like what I have on here. I like a softer neutral, soft pinks, soft tones in general. Um, there are no neutrals in this collection. Everything is bright to the point of almost being neon. If you have deeper skin tones, these bright shades will look great on you. They, there won't be such a disparity between the skin tone and the lip color that, but on me it was like, whoa, are you getting ready to go perform in a circus? What are you doing? In particular, I chose one shade to wear to a fashion show that I attended at HEB, at, our, at one of our grocery store chains and it bled all over my face. And it didn't happen just once, it's happened every time I've tried to wear it. It bled onto my teeth, still it bled outside the lines, even with lip liner. So I wish that they would come out with a better shade range and I bet I wish they would come out with um, a formula that doesn't travel. Another lip product that I did not care for at all, and again, a brand I adore, is Zoya. Zoya makes the best nail polish hands down I have ever used and I've used them consistently. They recently released lipsticks and they've sent me all of them, I think. They are not inexpensive. The packaging is pretty cheap and the formula is very waxy and not very pleasant feeling on the lips and not long lasting at all. I say save your money and get a drugstore lipstick. Sorry Zoya, the, nails, the nail polish is amazing, the lipstick not so much. All right, that's it for negative. Let's go to positive now and let's start with skincare. So some things I've added to my repertoire in December, it finally got cold here in Texas, meant I had to turn on the heat for the first time all year and that meant my skin instantly got dry. So two products that have saved my skin, um, both by Colleen Rothschild. The first one is the Dual Enzyme Polish. A lot of you have been asking me when I use this. Generally, I only use it in the winter. As you can see, I'm almost out of this one. Good news is I have a backup. I use this once a week after I wash my face. At night, you put it on damp skin. You spread an even layer all over your face. You leave it on anywhere from five to seven minutes. Then you wet your hands and you massage it off as with water and the physical exfoliants also do a little bit of uh, removing of the dead skin. So it's very brightening and it's great. Your skin will feel like just so smooth and soft. The other thing is a little cocktail that I like to do in the winter months. Colleen herself taught me this cocktail. You take the Extreme Recovery Cream, you take a tiny little scoop of that, you mix it with a pump of the face oil number nine between your fingers, and then you put that all over as your last layer at night. And skin, again, is so soft and so glowy and moisturized. And then the third skincare um, product that I wanna talk about, I am actually not the one using it, but Shane said you gotta tell people about this. So this is not inexpensive, I'm just warning you now. I ordered this through Cult Beauty in the big beauty box that Caroline Hirons does um, occasionally, like a collection of her favorite things, and this was one of those products last, or I guess it was earlier this year. Um, and this is from May Lindstrom Skin, and it's the Blue Cocoon. Why blue, you say? I will tell you why. 
That's why. <laughs> it is blue. So Shane, um, obviously, as many of you know, has been sick. He was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis, and one of the medications he had to take to get everything under control was a pretty high dose of steroids, prednisone. Worked great. One of the side effects of steroids, acne. So um, we really didn't want to mess around with any kind of heavy duty stuff or medication with everything else that was going on in his body. I remember reading that this was great stuff for acne and the tiniest little baby amount, we're talking like not even the amount you would, of the pencil eraser, like a tiny amount, you, it, it emulsifies in your, between your fingertips. So you just take a little bit and you, you know, rub it between your fingers and then you put it on the troubled areas and it just cleared up his skin like that. It's amazing. All right, now onto the few makeup items I wanna share with you. The first is what is on my eyes, somewhat anyway. And you've seen a lot of this in the vlogs. I've been wearing this kind of on rotation all December. This is from Lorac. It is limited edition. Uh, Rose Gold Metal Pro Palette. Look at that. I mean, just this by itself. Woo. Anyway, um, I picked it. I showed this in the holiday gift guide from Nordstrom, and then I didn't give it as a gift. I kept it for myself. But there are eight shades in here. I have not used every single one. I've used these, all of these, mostly as lid colors. They're just beautiful. I mean, oh, just get your hands on this. Get it before it's no longer available. It's very thin, easy to transport. One shade all over lid color is gorgeous. Um, what am I wearing today? Today I'm wearing gold on my lids. Gilded is what they say. On my lids mixed with the, the Tartlet in Bloom palette mattes in the crease and stuff. So just, oh, I love it. On to something I do love from Makeup for, makeup for Ever are the new um, Pro Light Fusion Highlighters. Um, they did send these to me, and I have, they say that this, which one is which? They say that this one, this is like the rose gold shade, is best for fair skin, and then this burnished gold is better for medium skin tones. I can tell you as a paley person, I have been using both of them, and they show up just fine on me. This is, this is like the Goldilocks of highlighters. Like, I'm wearing it right now. So it gives you a really nice sheen. It's not so bright, but it's not, entirely subtle and natural. It's just a really lovely, nice gleam with no glitter. That's kind of key. And what I've also been doing, which is kind of fun, especially the gold shade, is wearing it as a lid shade as well. Another face product that has been on repeat, if you open up my description box and you read during vlog days I broke it down by stuff I mentioned, clothes and accessories, and makeup in the video. You will have seen this a lot. This is a Clinique Cheek Pop, and this is in the shade Heather Pop. And it's just a really nice kind of mauvey berry tone, but it's very subtle on the cheeks. I think you can tell. It's just a nice subtle flush. It's nothing over the top, very neutral. Um, it has a warmth to it without crazy pink cheeks. So loving this. And then we move to concealers. I have a video planned at some point in January to compare too Faced Born This Way, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, and the Tardis Shape Tape. And for some people, they will prefer one over the other for various reasons. Uh -huh. I'm gonna tell you that my preference, so you don't skip the video, but if you're pressed for time and you need to skip the video, Tarte Shape Tape. I thought the hype was all that. I thought it was, this, there's no way this product is that good. It's that good. It really is. I have it in the shade Fair Neutral. And I ordered it during, I think it was Black Friday. Tarte was having a sale and this baby popped back up in stock and I snatched it. I, don't, I didn't even swatch it because you couldn't even get your hands on it in the store to tell. I just figured I'll just get the lightest shade. How bad could it be? I'm wearing it under my eyes. I thought it was gonna be too heavy. I thought it was gonna crease. It was gonna show up in my fine lines. No, the, I don't know what it's, it, it, it's amazing. The other concealer that I've been reaching for was sent to me. I had talked about, um, I was doing a, I had agreed to do a sponsored blog post for Shiseido for their uh, skincare. I was gonna try some of their moisturizers and serum. Just give you guys uh, a taste of a different line than what I'm, all, you know, I'm always talking about Colin Rothschild. Some of you, for whatever reason, may not wanna use it. So I thought, I'll do, I'll try a different line. And it was for a blog, not for a video. Um, and I told them I needed to try it first before I could write the post, obviously. And I tried it and Shiseido's moisturizers are for me just too rich and I immediately started breaking out. 
So I contacted the company and said, I'm really sorry, but this isn't gonna work. I can send you back the product. And they said, no, 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 no. We just feel badly that it didn't work out for you. Can we send you something else from our, from our line or from our sister company, Clay de Poe? And I was like, wait, what? You guys are from the same company? I said, as much as I'd love to try Clay de Poe, because I've heard it's amazing. That's just crazy and I'm not gonna ask for that. Just how about, can you please send me the Shiseido? So they sent me the Shiseido foundation and then in there was this guy. It's a concealer stick. It's the Clay de Poe concealer um, in the shade ivory, I guess. I don't know where it's written. It's in tiny, tiny print. Take my word for it, it's ivory. The hype, again, the hype is real. It covers everything. It stays all day. It never gets patchy. It blends seamlessly into my skin. It's amazing. The only thing, it's, this is the lightest shade and I tried it under my eye and it just doesn't brighten. It's not light enough for me for under my eye, but for blemishes or imperfections or dark spots, wow. This is not new to the channel, but I recently picked one of these up because I needed to um, buy just a couple more things to, to seal my spot as a VIB Rouge member for 2017. I was only about 50 bucks short. So one of the things I picked up was this, another Lancome Grandiose Mascara. Oh, is it good? It's in my top three for a reason. It's just a great mascara and big, thick, dark, full lashes. It doesn't flake, it doesn't smudge. And this funky wand, the gooseneck wand is just, it makes the putting on top and bottom so, so easy. I love it. And it kind of smells of roses. And then lastly, totally opposite end of the spectrum and price point from Clay de Poe is a liquid eyeliner, or I guess a felt tip eyeliner. And this is from L'Oreal, and it's the Voluminous Liner Noir. And many of you know I cannot stand using anything but a pencil eyeliner because I'm terrible at it. Well, this little guy has made it really easy. It's a very nice, firm felt tip marker, and it comes to a really, really fine point and really, really, really dark matte black liner. I'm wearing it today. I absolutely love it. I did forget one thing. These guys, these are the only things I want to talk about as far as non-beauty favorites. These earrings from Bobble Bar, they're pineapple earrings. You guys saw these in the vlogs. They're called the piña earrings. Piña is Spanish for pineapple, like piña colada. These are like a piña colada party on your ears. And um, apparently these also can symbolize some secret um, naughty messages. So just make sure you're wearing them up and down. But I have been loving these so much. They're fun and a little whimsical, but actually quite neutral. So if you want a little fun on your ears, pick up a pair of these because they are just adorable. Uh, that is it for favorites. I don't really have um, TV shows or books or anything that's worth mentioning. Um, that's a lot right there. So I just want to say thank you so much for all of you who spent most of December with me and my family watching Vlogadays. I appreciate it so much. It's such a fun and special time that we get to spend together. And as much as you think you enjoy it, I enjoy it that much more. So thank you so much for that. Uh, January, it is my intention to go back to my normal Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. And I can tell you we're starting off January with a best of series, the best of 2016, best in makeup, best in clothing, accessories, all books, all that good stuff. So stay tuned for a whole lot of best ofs coming up. We will break it down video by video. So make sure you don't miss any of those by subscribing. Many of you, thank you so much, uh, started following me on Instagram and Twitter. Those of you who are watching who are not actually subscribed to my YouTube channel, change that, make that a resolution, and make sure you're subscribed to me and tell one friend, everybody tell one friend to subscribe to me. My goal for 2017, it's not a resolution, it's a goal, is to hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. It's a lofty goal, but I think we can do it. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a wonderful Merry Christmas, a wonderful Happy Hanukkah, it's still going on. And I hope you have the most wonderful, joyous, and incredibly safe New Year's Eve. And have a wonderful New Year, and I'll see you in the New Year. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.